गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स साई राम लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ ई वी एस वन लेसन नंबर फाइव वॉटर फॉर एवरी हाउस होल्ड चिल्ड्रेन इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ कैन वी स्टोर क्लीन वॉटर इन आवर हाउस विच वी स्टोर इन वेरियस कंटेनर्स वॉट प्रिकॉशंस वी शूड टेक वाइल स्टोरिंग वॉटर इन आवर हाउस सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड वॉट डू वी डू बिफोर वॉचिंग द वीडियो वी ऑलवेज लर्न द न्यू वर्ड्स कैन यू सी इट ऑन द स्क्रीन दीज आर द न्यू वर्ड्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट वन एच वाई जी आई ई एन ई हाई जी हाई जी ना ऑल दीज वर्ड्स आर रिलेटेड टू वॉटर सो हाईजीन मीन्स क्लीन वॉटर ओके वेन यू मेंटेन गुड हाईजीन द वॉटर रिमेन्स क्लीन एंड फ्रेश सो हाईजीन मीन्स क्लीन वॉट डू मीन बाय हाईजीन क्लीन लुक एट द सेकेंड वन सी ओ एन टी ए एम आई एन ए टी ई डी कंटामिनेटेड कंटामिनेटेड मीन्स डर्टी वॉटर ओके कंटामिनेटेड मीन्स वन द वॉटर बिकम्स द टी इट इज नोन एज कंटामिनेटेड वॉटर एंड इट इज नो लॉन्गर सेफ फॉर ड्रिंकिंग सो वी कैन नॉट ड्रिंक कंटामिनेटेड वॉटर वी कैन यूज दैट वॉटर फॉर अदर पर्पज लाइक क्लीनिंग वॉशिंग बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम ड्रिंकिंग वी कैन नॉट डू वी कैन नॉट यूज दैट वॉटर फॉर ड्रिंकिंग ओके सो कंटामिनेटेड वॉटर इज अनहेल्दी इट Uh, it uh, hampers your health your health is uh, you know destroyed because of drinking contaminated water so contaminated means dirty water okay look at the third one d i p p e r dipper dipper means a kind of uh, utensil it is a kind of an equipment or you can say which is used to uh, you know a uh, take water from the pot it is like a spoon somewhat like a spoon i'll show you the picture when we watch the video it is somewhat like a spoon you have to hold it in your hand and you have to take the water from the pot instead of putting your hands in the water if you put your hands directly in the water what will happen the water will become dirty because the germs which are on your hand will enter the water so use a dipper while if the pot is not having a tap so you should always use a dipper to take water from the tap so dipper is a kind of a utensil and it somewhat looks like a spoon it is a hollow spoon you can say okay now fourth one r u b b i s h rubbish rubbish means here the things which fall in the water like you can say dirt particles dust particles or you can say some other you know uh, the insects and all that is called rubbish and when rubbish enters the water the water becomes contaminated that is the water becomes dirty and it is no longer safe for drinking so rubbish means all the dust particles all whatever enters the water and it contaminates water that is called rubbish look at the fifth one r e f i l l i n g refilling now refilling is when you have filled a pot of water okay and now it is empty so while you are going to fill new water again you are going to fill fresh water in that you should always wash that pot nicely and then you should fill new water in that so when you are filling again the water in that pot that means you are refilling it what you are doing you are refilling the pot so refilling means when you are uh, filling the water again and again in the container fresh water again and again in the container that is called as refilling okay now care of drinking water as i told you we in today's video what are we going to watch we are going to watch how can we take care of drinking water and also other water which we store in our house for various purpose so to remain uh, to get clean water for the storing of clean water what precautions and what steps we should take care that we are going to watch in today's video okay now to ensure good hygiene we must have safe drinking water very very important children always ensure or always have the habit of drinking boiled and safe water which is clean and which is good for your health drinking water directly from taps which you don't know whether the water is clean because the water which we get in the taps in our house is not clean you cannot drink the water directly from the tap 
you have to boil the water or you have to filter the water and then it is suitable for drinking so if you drink clean and you know fresh water every day you will remain healthy so you should always ensure what you should ensure good hygiene we must have safe drinking water so now can you see this pot it is having a handle it is having a lid on it so always the drinking water containers should have lid on it so that dust particles or you can call rubbish does not fall in the water and it does not gets contaminated so always put a lid if the lid is not available with the pot you can use any lids which are available in your house and you should always cover it lid what what does the lid do it covers the container so always put a lid on the container on in which you have stored water so that it remains clean and no dust particles enter in that container okay then you can also have a tap on the pot okay now you get these clay pots which are having taps nowadays this is the best way of keeping the water clean because what happens is even you have to whenever you are feeling thirsty or whenever you want water from this tap uh, water from this container you just have to push the tap and then you get water from it so that you are not uh touching you're not uh, coming in contact with the water anywhere you're not putting your hands in it so your the germs are not entering into the container you have to just press the tap and the water will come so this the having a tap on the container is the best way of getting clean water okay because it does not uh contaminate the water and it is safe for drinking now what is this this is called as dipper okay you get dipper of plastics also <coughs> sorry dippers are available made of from plastics dippers are available made from steel also so whatever you prefer but this dipper if the container does not have a tap so you can use a dipper to take water from that pot so that your hands does not come directly in contact with the water and it does not contaminate the water so are you clear what is a dipper see it is like a spoon only <coughs> only it has a hollow uh, it is somewhat like a hollow spoon okay so that you can collect water easily in it and then you can use it so always use a dipper if <coughs> taps are not available if taps are not there on the container this will also prevent from contaminating water and this will also help to ensure clean drinking water okay now <clears throat> in case if we consume contaminated water what will happen if we consume contaminated water it can cause disease yes children you might fall ill we might fall ill we might have stomach pain we might have some other illness because we have drank dirty water so to prevent it we should always see to it that the water which we use for drinking and which is stored in the containers in our house is always covered with a lid and you should not put your hands directly in the water to make it dirty you should always take small precautions and small steps to see that the water does not become dirty because it affects our health okay so to remain healthy ensure that you drink always clean drinking water which is at least boiled and kept in a container which has a lid and if you have a tap on the container it is the best way then you don't need to worry anymore okay or otherwise if it does not have a tap what you should use you should use a dipper to take the water out am i very clear now to prevent this as i told you we should cover the containers of water used for drinking and cooking is yes. children whenever your mother cooks okay she cooks vegetables she cooks rice she cooks uh you know dal whatever it is and she cooks it in the pot in the containers and then thus she leave it like that 
she covers it with some plate on it so that nothing falls in it and let the food will not become dirty so same way when you are storing water in con when you are storing water in containers you see to it that it is always covered with a lid okay so that the water does not become dirty so what we should do we should always use a lid to cover the drinking water okay and if we dip our hands to take water the dirt on our hands enter the water making it contaminated children even if our hand looks clean it is not clean because we touch here and there we touch many things in our house and it may have dust on it and then our hands also become dirty and there are germs on our hands and that hands if we directly put in the water what will happen the water will become contaminated the water will become dirty so you see to it that you do not dip your hands directly into the drinking water or any water which is stored in the house for cooking purpose or for other purpose you use a dipper or if dipper is not available you can use a glass to take the water out is that clear we should use a dipper to take water from the tap very very important to take water from the pot see the picture here see this is a clay a uh, pot and the dipper is also made of some you know coconut shell i think but that is a dipper you can make dipper of anything as i told you can make dipper out of plastic you can make dipper out of steel as you wish and you can even have an idea of making a dipper from the coconut shell we always have coconut in our house we use it for various cooking purpose so that coconut when we break the coconut it makes into two parts and it is hollow round so what you can do you can make a hole inside it and you can stick a straw to it or you can stick any other things which is available in the house and you can make your own dipper you can try this at home okay and that dipper because at coconut you can wash that coconut shell properly thoroughly with water and then you can uh, you know take water from the pots which is in the house it will be a fun it will be something new and you can try this at home it is very very easy okay so this is a dipper and see a lid is also on the pot so when you are taking the lid off from the pot for taking water you take the water and don't forget to again cover the pot with the lid so this ensures hygiene this ensures that you are keeping the drinking water clean is that clear see now again when you have taken the water out from the pot what you have done you have again put the lid on the pot and you have covered it properly and then the dipper is on that so whoever wants next to drink the water for any they can use the dipper again and they can dip in the water and take the water out without the hand contact do not do that mistake of putting your hand in the water is that clear now as i told you the best way of taking water is to have a tap on the container yes if the pot is having a tap you no need to worry at all because it is the best way your hands are not coming into the contact even if the dipper we use we forget sometimes to wash the dipper we have to wash the dipper again and again if we use that only dipper for many many days again the dipper will also have some dust particles on it yes or no so again the water also will become dirty so the best way is to having a tap on the pot so that it does not contaminate the water at all your hands are also not in contact with it the dipper is also not in contact with the water nothing you get clean and the water remains clean okay see can you see if you have you must be having many of you must be having this pot in your house which has a, a tap even filters they have taps when you are, when you are feeling thirsty and you want to drink water from it you just have to push the button or push the tap and then the water comes out so you are not contaminating water you are ensuring hygiene you have uh kept the water clean is that clear now when the water in the container finishes we wash the container well before refilling it yes now when the pot of water or when any utensil of water becomes empty or if some water is left and you can use that water for other purpose but before filling or before refilling the fresh water we should always wash the container thoroughly 
with soap and water well you should make the container clean and then you should refill it with fresh water is that clear and again after filling refilling the water in the container you should follow those steps which i showed you cover it with a lid use a dipper or if tap is there on the uh, pot uh, no worries it is the best way okay now see you have to wash it thoroughly with soap and water so that whatever dust and whatever it has settled in the pot it goes away and again the pot becomes clean and then you can refill it with fresh water and you can use it for drinking purpose okay now see these are the do's and don'ts can you see that the wrong ones on the left hand side see the pot is there filled of water but it is it is not having a lid on it so it is not safe for drinking again now you can see a steel bucket there can you see see we'll see first the left part sorry first we'll see the left part see a pot is filled with water but lid is not there so it is not safe for drinking then a bucket is full, full of water but that bucket water we cannot use for drinking you can use it for other purpose again it is not having a lid again a pot there but it is not having a lid again a jar but it is not having a lid so see the water drop there it is angry it is sad because that left hand side water is not safe for drinking now come to your right hand side you can see a bottle which is having a cover okay lid so it is safe for drinking see this is a bottle container these two bottle containers but it is having a lid again this is a container which is having a lid this is a tank which is having a tap and this is a pot which is having a lid so the right hand side these all are the uh, you know safest way of drinking water because it is covered with lid it is ensured that nothing dust or dirt particles enter the water and you can easily drink it okay now we'll take a quick recap of what we have seen in today's video we saw first we have to use lid to cover the water containers so that the water does not become dirty okay then use a dipper to take water from the tap if if a tap is not there on the pot you can make use of a dipper so that you cannot you don't come with the contact of your hands in the water okay because if you dip your hands in the water what will happen again germs will enter the water <coughs> and it will become contaminated now third one the best way of taking water is to have a tap on the container okay so which is the best way of taking water to have a tap on the container and wash the container and then refill new fresh water you should always wash the container before filling new fresh water in it okay so that ensures hygiene so these are the small and easy steps which you should follow to see that the water which you have stored in your house is clean and is fit for drinking is that clear i hope you have understood today's video and thank you for listening to me carefully goodbye take care thank you